Hello, salespreneurs, and welcome to milestone number five of your journey with Pipeliner. As I'm sure you've seen by now, you are required in milestone number five to schedule some appointments. These are appointments for presentations of the Pipeliner system. And first and foremost, I want to make sure that you understand that while we're asking you to schedule those presentations, those meetings to present to some of your prospects, we're not asking you to do the presentations. We're going to do those for you. So in order for that all to work, what we need to do is we need to teach you how to schedule those presentations because scheduling includes your client's availability, your availability, and our availability to be able to provide those presentations. To make that really simple for you, we have created a, a very easy process for you to follow. And this recording is designed to show you exactly how to do that. How do you schedule a presentation so that we're available to do that presentation for you? Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna open up a new browser page and this is where you should be is in your browser. And you're going to use a link that I'm providing to you right here. It's this link. I'll pause here a minute so that you can jot that down. Or if you're on your computer right now, open up your browser and type that address in and then you can save it. All right? Save it as a bookmark so you can always get to this anytime you need to in the future. OK. Let me go ahead and hit enter here and you'll see what happens when you go to this link. It takes you to a Pipeliner calendar. And this calendar is designed to allow you access to my calendar as well as all of my teammates who are here and ready to do presentations for you and your clients. To learn how to use this is very simple. Dates that are available to you are highlighted with this light blue circle around them. If a date is not available, you'll see there's no circle around it. For example, Sundays and Saturdays are not available. I'm recording this message to you on Friday, October 4th, and you can see that that day is not available either. That's because we don't allow you to schedule an appointment on the same day that you're booking it. You have to give us at least one day of advance notice. So let's pick a date that's available. I'm going to pick the 16th of October here. And you can see that it displays available times. It will display those times to you in your time zone. My time zone is in California, so I'm on Pacific time. Your time zone will be different. But just pick the time that you and your client have agreed to. Let's say it was one o'clock, <coughs> excuse me, one o'clock in the afternoon on the 16th. So I click. You can see now it's asked me to confirm that that's the date and time that I really meant, the 16th at 1 o'clock p.m., and I'll say confirm. As soon as you indicate that you are confirming that date and time, you'll come to this page where we're collecting information that we need in order to give you and your client a good experience. So let me walk you through these questions. And by the way, you notice any of these questions that have an asterisk next to them, means they are required. You will not be able to actually book this meeting unless you answer these questions. First, under name, this is your name, not your client's name, not their company name. It's your name, the salespreneur. Who are you? What's your email address? So we know how to get a hold of you. Next, we want to make sure that this invitation also goes to your prospect. And to do that, we click on guest emails. You can type in up to 10 additional guests. So depending on how many people at your prospect company are planning to attend this presentation, you would type in their emails here. It might be one, it might be more than one. Once you've finished there, I want to know the name of the company. What's the name of the company we're presenting to? And who is the primary contact at that company, right? Who's your connection there? Who is it that we're really targeting? 
There might be three or four people attending the presentation, but who's the primary person we're trying to sell on Pipeliner? Next, I'd like you to type in their company website here. This allows me to look up their business and understand what they do, who they sell to, anything I need to know so that I can sound like I am well informed about them and their company. I'd like to know how large the sales team is. This gives me a sense for what size deal we're talking about here. Lastly, what's the industry that they're in? Right? Maybe they're in oil and gas, maybe they're a manufacturer, maybe in the, they're in the financial services industry. Whatever they're in, tell us what industry they're in. And then the last question on the page is asking you to define for us what is their corporate email platform? Is it Outlook or is it Gmail? Most companies fall under one of these two umbrellas. Once you've answered all of these questions, you can click on Schedule Event, and that will trigger those invites to be sent, one to you, one to each of your attendees from your prospect company that you've listed here in guest emails, and one to me or a member of my team. So everybody's aware of this new meeting invite. Now, one thing I didn't mention that I want to point out to you, um, and this will help you going forward to make sure that your appointments are always really good appointments with really good prospects. Number one, their emails, the email addresses of the people you're inviting to this presentation, this should be their business email address not a personal email, right? If it has their name at gmail.com, that's a personal email. At hotmail.com, personal email. At yahoo.com, personal email. We should never see those in this box. We know the company name, their email address should tie into that company name, right? That's one good kind of clue for you that you're dealing with a, a potentially good prospect. Another is if they don't have a website. If they don't have a website, you might ask yourself, are they a legitimate target to become a Pipeliner customer? I would say usually that's not the case. If they do not have a website, we're probably wasting your time. And I don't want to waste your time. I want to help you to make money. Okay? So hopefully you now understand how to fill out this form. And when you're done, click on schedule event. Now I wanna also show you what happens when you click on that schedule event. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to my calendar in Outlook and show you what it looks like. So for example, here's a meeting from earlier this week. And you can see that right here I have the salespreneur and his email address. I have the guest. Down below, I have the name of the company. I have the name of the primary person that was invited. I have their business uh, website address. I know how big their sales team is. I know what industry they're in. And they're using Microsoft Outlook as their email platform. Okay, so I have all the information I need here. You're gonna get a copy of this, I get a copy of it, and the prospect gets a copy of this. And so just down below here is their instructions for how to join the Zoom meeting. So if they have any trouble finding it in all of this information, you can point them to right here. Clicking on this Zoom meeting will take them into the online presentation. And the last thing I want to show you about this link, which is really important, at the very bottom, you'll notice that you also have links if you need to cancel this meeting. Say your client calls you and say, hey, look, I'm really sorry, but I got to cancel this meeting. We'll reschedule some other time. Go here and cancel the meeting. It's really important, okay? Because this meeting, let's go back and show you my calendar. That was a five o'clock in the morning meeting for me. And so if the client doesn't show up and you don't show up because you canceled, but nobody told me, I'm gonna get up really early and I'm gonna prepare for this meeting and then nobody's gonna show up. That's just not fair to us, okay? So make sure that when that happens, 
you scroll down to the bottom of the meeting invite that you have and you cancel. Alternatively, they may call you, your, your prospect may call you and say, hey, we need to reschedule. Then here's your link to reschedule that meeting, okay? We make it as simple as possible for you. So if you just follow those steps, you'll be in good shape. If you have any questions about any of this, know that you can send me an email. My email address is don.araldi, A-R-A-L-D-I, at pipelinersales.com. Send me an email. Tell me what your question is about scheduling an appointment, and I will make sure that I answer your questions and get everything settled. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. You can watch it over again if you need to. It's here at your disposal. Uh, but also make sure you watch the next video that I'll be recording for you, which is on how to properly create a lead. Now that you have scheduled an appointment, we need you to create a lead in Pipeliner. And that's your next video that you need to watch and make sure you understand. Thanks again and happy selling to all of you. Bye-bye.